Why black holes are the scariest things in the universe. A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. The theory of general relativity predicts that a sufficiently compact mass can deform space-time to form a black hole. For one, falling into a black hole is easily the worst way to die. Black holes are scary for three reasons. If you fell into a black hole left over when a star died, you would be shredded. Also, the massive black holes seen at the center of all galaxies have insatiable appetites. And black holes are places where the laws of physics are obliterated. Black holes are expected to form when a massive star dies. After the star's nuclear fuel is exhausted, its core collapses to the densest state of matter imaginable, a hundred times denser than an atomic nucleus. That's so dense that protons, neutrons, and electrons are no longer discrete particles. Since black holes are dark, they are found when they orbit a normal star. The properties of the normal star allow astronomers to infer the properties of its dark companion, a black hole. Black holes are tombs of matter, nothing can escape them, not even light. The fate of anyone falling into a black hole would be a painful spaghettification, an idea popularized by Stephen Hawking in his book A Brief History of Time. In spaghettification, the intense gravity of the black hole would pull you apart, separating your bones, muscles, sinews and even molecules. Over the past 30 years, observations with the Hubble Space Telescope have shown that all galaxies have black holes at their centers. Bigger galaxies have bigger black holes. Nature knows how to make black holes over a staggering range of masses, from star corpses a few times the mass of the sun to monsters tens of billions of times more massive. That's like the difference between an apple and the Great Pyramid of Giza. Just last year, astronomers published the first ever picture of a black hole in its event horizon, a 7 billion solar mass beast at the center of the M87 elliptical galaxy. It's over a thousand times bigger than the black hole in our galaxy, whose discoverers snagged this year's Nobel Prize. These black holes are dark most of the time, but when their gravity pulls in nearby stars and gas, they flare into intense activity and pump out a huge amount of radiation. Massive black holes are dangerous in two ways. If you get too close, the enormous gravity will suck you in. And if they are in their active quasar phase, you'll be blasted by high-energy radiation. The biggest black hole discovered so far weighs in at 40 billion times the mass of the Sun, or 20 times the size of the solar system. Whereas the outer planets in our solar system orbit once in 250 years, this much more massive object spins once every three months. Its outer edge moves at half the speed of light. Like all black holes, the huge ones are shielded from view by an event horizon. At their centers is a singularity, a point in space, where the density is infinite. We can't understand the interior of a black hole because the laws of physics break down. Time freezes at the event horizon and gravity becomes infinite at the singularity. The good news about massive black holes is that you could survive falling into one. Although their gravity is stronger, the stretching force is weaker than it would be with a small black hole, and it would not kill you. The bad news is that the event horizon marks the edge of the abyss. Nothing can escape from inside the event horizon, so you could not escape or report on your experience. According to Stephen Hawking, black holes are slowly evaporating. In the far future of the universe, long after all stars have died and galaxies have been wrenched from view by the accelerating cosmic expansion, black holes will be the last surviving objects. The most massive black holes will take an unimaginable number of years to evaporate, estimated at 10 to the 100th power, or 10 with 100 zeros after it. The scariest objects in the universe are almost eternal, 